Hey everyone, this is Audrey, Audrey Hepburn and today I'm going to do a review of Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipsticks for you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm looking like a brown Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> oh my god guys. Hey everyone, this is Manvi, not Audrey. I already have a review on my channel when they first launched these lipsticks, the full size bottles. Now they have come up with the mini versions of these lipsticks it retails for 600 rupees and after sale it is for 539 and this one is for 239 rupees so they came up with the uh, 10 shades of mini matte to last liquid lipsticks so i know i know this is a boring part but i'm getting to the fun part the lipstick swatches of all of these 10 shades i bought them with my own money and i swatch all of these shades in the natural light right now i'm in my room with the ring light on it just changes the shades color so that's why i you know shoot outside in my garden outside for you guys and it is hot outside it must be i don't know it must be like 40 degrees right now it is so hot it's so humid guys look how tiny it is i'm like it's so cute i want to die okay let's get to the swatches already and also i will tell you my favorites with the swatches so keep watching and one more thing i almost forgot i have a giveaway i have a giveaway of two of these mini liquid lipsticks maharani and janvi two of my favorite all you have to do is subscribe follow me on my instagram and leave your insta handle in my comment section that's all and one of you will get two of these it's a mini giveaway but it's a something it's a start of something new so yeah do participate okay now it's time for the swatches I'm gonna start with my most favorite shade Maharani and if this doesn't speak royal then what does and obviously it is inspired by Jaipur city every liquid lipstick is inspired by a city and this one is inspired by Jaipur it's such an elegant deep maroon shade and it will instantly make you look like a queen I'm wearing my crown right now and yeah it's so royal and regal I love this shade now this shade is Janvi and it is inspired by city of lakes Udaipur and it's such a graceful peachy nude shade and it's another my favorite there's something about this shade it makes you look so pure and graceful and you guys know that I love my peachy nude shades um, no matter what skin tone you are it will suit you this is a beautiful shade. The only chai I can ever tolerate is this next shade, chai. I can hear all the chai lovers screaming at me, but guys, I've tried. I don't like chai. I'm a coffee person. And on Nykaa's side, they have mentioned it as a nude shade, but it's not a nude shade on my skin tone. Maybe on the deeper and duskier skin tones, it will be a nude shade, but on me, it's a brown uh, deep brown shade it's a fearless and powerful shade wear with something white and it will look drop dead gorgeous on you shades like these chai brown shades look really beautiful with white or creams creamy shades um, so let's move on to the next shade this shade is Madras Kapi and now this shade is nude it's a true brown nude shade I can see why so many people love it it's one of their highly popular shade and if you're looking for something that's everyday uh, you can try this one out and I just love the fact that you can try the mini versions it's so cheap 239 rupees and if you really love this shade then you can commit to the full size bottles now this shade is gold and I think this one is inspired by Kashmir. It looks like Kashmir and uh, it's a soft feminine nude pink shade. This shade is a little bit darker than the Janvi and I like it just a little bit more than Janvi because um, it's more suitable for my skin tone and it makes your features look very soft like uh, for right now I'm wearing this shade a red shade and it's making my eyes really pop um, and it's making my features really sharp but this shade makes your features look softer and it's such a feminine and girly shade or whatever that is <laughs> this shade is boho and it's a dusky rose pink shade Oh guys, I feel like a color scientist right now. Dusky pink, soft pink, nude pink. <laughs> 
and it's inspired by Goa. Uh, I need to go back there once more because the last time I went there I was really depressed and I didn't enjoy as much as I would have like if I went there right now I would enjoy the hell out of that place. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this shade because we already have so many shades like these. It's nothing unique, nothing new. This shade is Mishti and it's a sweet and bright shade. It will just brighten up your face and it's not a red shade, it's pinkish red. I can totally see Bengali woman wearing white sari with red bindi and this shade Mishti. And guys, these lipsticks are cruelty free so that's good. I just saw the rabbit. Uh, so I thought I will mention and it's paraben free, no preservative and it's transfer proof. I can tell you that it's transfer proof and it's one of my favorite formula. It's not at all goopy like uh, when you press your lips it does not get stuck. Uh, I hate that situation. This shade is Rukmini and it's a nude red shade. It's one of my personal favorite. I feel like everything is nude these days. Uh, and if you're someone who is scared of red lipsticks, then you can try this one out. It's a nude red shade, one of my personal favorite. And I love the fact that it's feather light on lips. It's very light. The formula is very light on lips. Yes, Nika did not pay me to say all of these good things about their lipsticks. I actually bought these lipsticks with my own money and all the opinion are very genuine and true. Uh, I actually really love these lipsticks and I wear them more often. This shade is Mathly and on the side they have mentioned it as a deep mauve shade. Indeed, it's a mauve shade. But guys, is a thing that it's very much similar to Rukmini, um, tad bit darker, Matli is tad bit darker, but it's very much similar. So if you like nude red shades, then buy only one of these because it's very similar and save your hard earned money. It's really hard to earn money, especially clean money. Okay, the last shade is Bombay. Obviously, it's inspired by Mumbai, City of Dreams, Bollywood. And it's a very light nude shade. It's not for my skin tone. And if you are a fairer skin type, then this is a very unique shade, unique nude shade. I wish it would have suited me, but it did not. And I wouldn't recommend to anyone whose skin type is like me or darker. It will just wash you out. So don't go with this one and i'm really tired you guys hey guys it is audrey again give this video a like and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you soon bye